Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast with the Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2 tip. Tractor Pro 2 makes it really easy to find similar tracks in your music collection. You'll see that in some columns of the Tractor Pro 2 browser, there's a magnifying glass icon. You can see that right above the track I have selected is a Ferry Corsten track, with Ferry Corsten in the Artist column. If I go ahead and click on the magnifying glass icon for that track, it will go ahead and search through my music collection for all of the tracks where the artist contains Barry Corsten. It's important to note that it only searches for the column that you clicked on. So if Barry Corsten did a remix, but he wasn't attributed as the artist, he wouldn't show up in this search. You'll now notice that Barry Corsten is in the search bar on the left hand side. If I go ahead and click on the magnifying glass icon here, you'll see that it's only searching for the artist information. If I wanted to search for Ferry Corsten in all of the metadata fields, I could simply change my search from artist to all. It's important to note that when you use the magnifying glass button, you're searching throughout your track collection as a whole, not just a specific playlist. This is important for me because my track collection is a mix between tracks that have beat grids and those that don't. And when I do this kind of search, both will appear. I should also point out that Tractor Pro doesn't search for the exact term, so it doesn't just search for Ferry Corsten. You can see that in these results, it also shows up as Ferry Corsten versus Prodigy. Let's take a look at the example of searching for keys. The way I have Tractor Pro 2 set up is that the comment field for each track contains the musical key in the Camelot notation. If I go ahead and click on a track that has 2A in the comment section, you'll see that not only does 2A show up, but also tracks that are labeled as 12A show up as well. That's because Tractor Pro is just looking for 2A, but not specifically 2A and nothing else. So that's why you see 12A mixed in with 2A. So now I've gone ahead and searched for tracks that are all 4A in the comments section. But what if I want to drill down even further? Well, this is where you can use the sorting options in the browser. Right now the tracks are sorted alphabetically, but if I want, I can then go ahead and click on one of the headers of the browser to sort it by say BPM, or by the date that it was added to my track collection. If you like this Tractor Pro tip, subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ Podcast or at the DJPodcast.com. Thanks for watching.